Hey guys, my name is PK Coltrane, back with another Fantasy Star Online video. And today, I wanted to teach you guys about the Tekker, who is actually a really important character in this game. Um, not only does he identify items like we've all known for years, but he actually has a mechanic that some of you may or may not know, and I actually wanted to talk about that today. Okay, so we all know that the Tekker can identify items. There are non-rare weapons, which have multiple question marks on them. And there are special weapons that are the rare weapons that usually just say special weapon. The differences between both of them for the Tekker is that the special weapons have a set special effect that cannot change, while the non-rare weapons with the question marks have a special effect that can go up a tier and go down a tier. For the example in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to tech the stats, which is the most important thing. and right here i have a special weapon and you can see the stats right here has 10 percent on native has 10 percent on machine and it has 25 percent on hit now keep in mind that the two zero percents uh they cannot go up and down so they will stay at zero percent but the ones that have stats on them can either go up by 10 percent or they can go down by 10 percent and everything in between that is divisible by five so meaning that the stats can go up by 10 percent or five percent or they can go down by 5% or down 10%. Note that all the stats that have stats on them will go up and down by the same amount for each stat, meaning that all of them will go up by 5%, all of them will go up by 10%. They will not mix and match. You won't have a stat that goes up by 10. You won't have a stat that goes down by 10. By far, the most important stat in the late game is going to be hit, so you're going to want to increase that. Now what you're seeing me do here is I'm having the Tekker identify the item and if it doesn't have the stats that I want, I can go ahead and decline it but I still have to pay the 100 Masetta and I'll keep trying until I get the stats that I want. Now the stat changes are entirely RNG based so you might get it in a few tries if you're lucky or you might have to try a lot of times if you're unlucky but eventually you just got to keep trying until you get the stats that you want. And here we go. All the stats have gone up by 10%. Keep in mind that the maximum amount the stat can be is 100%. And the minimum that the stat can be is actually negative 5%. So we might want to avoid that one. Now there's two more things that the Tekker can do. And I'm going to go ahead and use this Soul Disca plus 2 as an example. He can change the grinds on the weapon, which this one has plus 2. And he can also change the special effect of the weapon. If the special effect can go up and down a tier, meaning if it was flame, it could become burning or it could become fire, uh, fire being worse than flame and flame being worse than burning. That's just an example. This disco actually used to have mind and I teched it up to soul and the grinders I don't really care about. Uh, they can go up by four and they can go down by four. Didn't really care about those too much because mono grinders and tri grinders actually exist in the game, so it doesn't really matter. And that's all you really need to know about the Tekker. Uh, pretty important stuff for the stats. The other two things aren't that important, but they're nice to know. If you found this video informative in any type of way, you can like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace out.